so this package just showed up on our porch, and it is from... Who's that from, Ben? Disney Interactive. So, what could be in this big box? We weren't expecting it. Mm -mm. Oh my ah! god, 3.0! Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! So, what do we have? We have Toy Box Takeover. Toy Box Expansion Game. I don't even know what this is. We have some figures. Mickey. Mickey. That's the new version of Mickey. Minnie. Oh, and there's the actual game itself. Ah! Oh my gosh, thank you so much, thank Disney you. Interactive. So excited. The game was released in stores on yesterday, mm -hmm. August 30th. Yep. It is Monday the 31st. We were like... We weren't sure if we were going to get anything from no. them. They sent us figures in the past to review, but it's like 3.0, is so we want it so bad. We weren't expecting all of this. This is awesome. I think we got it a little late because it says that we couldn't say anything about it until the 28th. Well, it works out fine. That's okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to say whoa again? No, you can't grab the camera. Are you ready to go to the beach? We'll go to the playground and to the lake again? I see you got the GoPro on there on a new floaty, <laughs> the one that we bought at Toys R Us last week. Are you ready? Ready to go swimming? Yay! Yeah. We're at the lake. Somebody likes playing in the water. Yes, he does. He was so excited on the walk down here. Do you want to get in your new float? Do you want to try this? You want to try this out? Oh, click that. <laughs> we got the GoPro hooked to it so we can have Tegan Cam. What's a little bit? Look at you in your boat. Come back this way. Are you playing in the sand today? Not much of a water baby today, huh? We're gonna have to dip you in the water, get all that dirt off of you, though. You having fun? Tegan, are you having a good time? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Found a little stick. Before I started the camera, he's been doing this for a good five minutes or so. <laughs> yeah, he has. He started down there in the mud. <laughs> we are at Walmart, and look what we found. We saw the display model at Toys R Us, but this is the actual time, but this is the first time actually holding the mm -hmm. actual box in our hand. This is Poe's X-Wing Fighter. This is what we saw. Plastic. Open, unbox live yeah. in Korea, which is I pretty cool. I love how it has a little BB-8 right there. How cute is that? It's $79. Oh my goodness gracious. Legos are so expensive. It's coming. Right here. All these empty pegs. I doubt everything sold out this morning. No. I don't think it's out yet. <laughs> we saw a whole bunch of balloons all the way over there by the electronics. So we're so going to go check that. We're going to head over there. Galactic yeah. five discs. What is this? Trading discs and game. I guess they're like heavier products. <laughs> so many to collect. Let's see. 
Galactic Connections are collectible Star Wars character discs which can be used to play an exciting game where players share Star Wars knowledge to win. Interesting. Collect to connect. I'm going to guess there's an app involved. Yes. They have blade builders here. I want that. Oh, I think these are uh, free samples. Oh, nice. Well, let's try that out. Look inside for Star Wars excitement. Check. Star Wars droid tail poster. Did you get your uh, button? Yes. Okay. You want your Star Wars cupcake? Yes. <laughs> you want to share a Star Wars cupcake? Do you want to share a cupcake? Do you want to share a cupcake? Someone is ready for a nap. Yeah. Oh my god, this is going to be messy. <laughs> there you go. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> so you're making a, an exception to healthy living for Star Wars Day? Mm -hmm, yep. refreshing gum. So these are the Black Series figures that sold out super quick at Toys R Us last night. We didn't even see any of these, did we? No, we didn't. They are about $19 a piece. They're awesome, though. It's tempting. It's tempting mm -hmm. to get a set. Yes, it is. And they have the basic figures here, too. Lots of them. Lots we didn't even see last night. Don't mind my napkin. I was finishing my cupcake. Six ninety four here at Walmart. Not a bad price. Not a ton of stuff, but definitely worth it just for cupcakes and to see all these figures that we didn't see last night. So we're leaving Walmart. Force Friday, definitely low key at our local Walmart. They had one little folding table of freebie type stuff. And if you didn't realize, I mean, at first glance, it didn't even, you wouldn't even realize it was a freebie table. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> there was just these cupcakes with just one or two missing. Yeah. And the blind bags that almost looked the same as the ones you'd buy like in the trading card section, but they didn't have any barcodes or anything. Mm -hmm. So they were obviously intended to be samples along with the posters and the booklets and the buttons. So we got all of those and we're going to put all of that into our big Toys R Us and Target haul video. It's going to be a bins bonus on our main channel, so go check that out. It's probably already online. Well, we survived Force Friday. Hope you guys liked that vlog. I hope so. We had so much fun. Anyway, you are pulling into the annual church yard sale. It's Friday and it looks like a really big yard sale this year. So this is the first day we're going to hop out of the car and it's actually a beautiful day today. Yeah, it's not too hot out today. Yeah, 72 right now. It's supposed to be really warm this weekend. So let's see if we can find any treasures. And Tegan is here and awake so he can join us. Let's go. Well, that was kind of a bust, guys. There was a lot of stuff, but it was a lot of junk. It's yeah. like everybody's like, like it feels like everybody had yard sales and then whatever didn't sell at their own yard sales, they brought here to the church. So it's a lot of boxes and boxes of junk. The most interesting things, we saw the remains of Littlest Pet Shop Monopoly. And there was a, some sort of Littlest Pet Shop playset that we saw, but it was like all sun faded and dirty. And we didn't know if we it was worth trying to clean up. But it was good to look. It was fun to look. Maybe next year we'll find something. Off to Subway for lunch. So we just had lunch at Subway. And, and exactly one year ago, you may remember our vlog where we said goodbye to the local movie theater. Well, it's still here and it's totally abandoned. And it's pretty sad. The sign, you can sort of see it. It says closed, thank you for 17 years. Exactly one year ago, more or less, give or take a few days, we went and saw our final movie there last September. We're gonna do a quick drive-by and see uh, if we can see anything inside. <laughs> here it is, we'll do a quick uh, comparison. You can see they tore down the letters off the sign up there. Can't really 
can't really see much in oh the murals the painted murals are still on the wall they haven't painted them over but there's nothing else left in there you really can't see you can only see the reflection of the car but you can see the murals on the wall go back to our vlog from a year ago where we said goodbye to the movie theater Still pretty sad, but keep hoping somebody will move in there and open a new movie theater. Anyway, we're heading home now, guys.